Alright, welcome everybody to game, I think, number 6 here in the uh, Korean Star League Season 3 Week 1 and we have Piano, which also nicks Organ, going up against the former Terran player here going under the name of... I just forgot his name Oh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> the Terran player being Piano going up against Snow, the Protoss player, on a new map here. I don't know what uh, this map is called, but I know it's uh, a very new map that's going to be introduced to ASL Season 5. Uh, I have seen a few games on this map, and I know that carriers are really good against Terran on this map. And this map is so interesting. It also takes a very long time for the Terran to push on this map. And it's easy for the Protoss player to counter-attack. So far, in my opinion, this map does look Protoss favoured. And Zerg favoured against Protoss. It's a good Zerg map and a bad Terran map, I think. I'm not sure of this. I've just seen a few games, so I have a very small sample, but it does look tough for Terran. Not as tough as Sparkle TVP, but still pretty tough. It's a very, very good carrier map. So, that gives Protoss a late game advantage. I saw Flash trying to uh, counter the carriers with cloaked wraiths, and that's usually not a good sign. We usually see that on Outsider 2, and that usually tells us that Goliaths don't have the mobility required to uh, keep up with these carriers on uh, with this... Uh, geographical design and the layout of the natural and main base so I mean cloak wraiths can counter carriers and flash did win that game but it's a bit cheesy if the Protoss player scouts it they can just get a lot of observers with speed and it's gonna be very hard to kill those carriers off looks like both players are going to expand fairly early here without getting the gas uh, Rex, uh, Rex expand from Piano and it looks like a uh, Nexus first from uh, Snow here. Very safe builds to go on this map with the natural being up the ramp. It's very very hard to put on any aggression uh, with ground units uh, against a two base opponent on this map. You kind of have to go through the uh, air if you want to be able to put some pressure on. I mean it's easy for Terran and Protoss to defend that high ground, especially for Terran. Put a bunker up there, uh, block off with the barracks and a supply depot and put up siege tanks and it's going to be super tricky. And I know from uh, the recent games I saw, Protoss players like to open for Reavers on this map a lot and then go into two base carriers. It's quite common. I, I'm sure many build orders work on this map for both players. And we also uh, commonly see Terran players go for starboard as well, so air units very well on this map. Snow is sending out a zealot here. Interesting, he's probably just going to do some scouting, poke up the ramp, see what he can do. Four marines will be able to defend against that zealot though. First factory coming down from uh, Piano. Piano is one of my favorite Terran players too. He's not super good. He's average, I would say, but he's very fun to watch because he likes dropping uh, vultures a lot and he has very nice vulture micro and cool build orders. He loves starports, so he's just very entertaining to watch. And Snow, I think, is a quite uh, comfortable Reaver player, so I wouldn't be surprised seeing Reavers here. And two Zealots like this, I think he's not going to go all in with those Zealots, or is he? He's making more Zealots. This is some aggressive pressure from Snow here. That's very cool. He sees the two factories. He's got a third seller on the way. This is all going to come down to micro here. Five marines out though. Oh, yeah, Lewis is that seller. So very nice defense from Piano here. I thought he was going to just poke up the ramp retreat and then put those two sellers in a shuttle with a reaver later on, but he decided to go aggressive here. The robotics is on the way. I would assume he's getting the shuttle with that. Uh, oh, okay, uh, Dragoon is coming out here, but that seller is going to die too. So Piano is uh, has defended this very on. I think I saw a few SCVs not mining at the natural there. Let's hope that's not the case. 
second assimilator going down very early here for Protoss, so looks like a Stargate follow-up. No? Stargate? Not yet, maybe. Robotics Bay? Observer. Okay. I Three guesses and I was incorrect in all. That's very... It's a very good... Uh, Good get good good guesses from me. <coughs> so it looks like Snow wants to get a few more gateway units here. And get a third base too, so he's not doing anything I said. That's cool. Going for a quick third on this base. Snow seems to think this is viable as well. I mean I don't blame him, that third base is far away from the Terran player, but it's slightly vulnerable to vultures, so he's going to have to uh, defend that location with pylons and cannons. If he's going for that third nexus, I think he is. Pianos... Oh, what is Piano? Okay, never mind, he's going for mech. I thought he was going bio for a while there, never mind. But he is getting a medic in that rack, so that's pretty cool. So he's, I know Artosis uh, likes to do this, he gets a medic with his marines and I know Piano has done this before and I think this is a very nice addition to those marines. It's a very sexy unit comp when you get, uh, uh, when you get one or two medics in there and you can do small cube pushes like this. This build just screams Piano, I love it. Five tanks with this as well, so this is quite a strong push. Uh, considering Snow went for a fast third Nexus here, he's not going to have a lot of units. I think he's, uh, I think he's on four gateways, so he's going to have a few dragoons out, but it might be close here. He doesn't have a Reaver to defend this. Okay, he's not going to push, but rather Piano is going to take his own third base towards the Protoss player here and send out a few vultures uh, on the other side of the map to uh, scout and put down a few mines to. Uh, deter those counter-attacks and he's going to scout those Dragoons right now oh, the Dragoons are bugging out a few times they get one Vulture it's going to be really easy for Piana to defend against this if he puts a tank up there and oof, one Dragoon goes down but only one Goon oh, it doesn't look like Piana has a tank up here now he does though, so now it's going to be impossible to break essentially uh, uh, oh he's going back with those tanks though I don't know what I like about that he might be fragile at his third base now only one tank there oh is that a reaver? no he's shuttling up dragoons oh that's pretty cool <laughs> I like this this is gonna be really hard for uh, for piano to defend I think he's spread very thin and tanks, he only has like 8 tanks out and that's not too many, they are in quite low numbers here. 4 more Dragoons are going to come out and he's going to start picking off these tanks here. Gets one tank. Oh, this build order is so cool from Snow here. <gasps> he's going into the third here too, those tanks. Uh, one is going to go down, probably two. Looks like he got the tank at the third and a few more over here as well. I mean, it's very close, but I would say this is pretty good for Snow here. Oh, and he, he gets those out too. Very efficient. He's going to go to the third base here. Four Zealots coming in. No way that Piano can defend that third location right now. He has nothing over there. He's going to have to run away. He has one bunker. He's going to lose all his SCVs if he wants to keep this bunker alive. Looks like he's going for it. Repair that bunker, repair that bunker. Looks like he's barely going to survive there. Nice defense from Piano. That was a close one though. I would still say that favored uh, Snow and there are the carriers. Carriers seem to be the end game choice for Protoss on this map. <gasps> Whoa, another drop here with Zealots gets another tank. <laughs> it's very cool seeing these two shuttles 
uh, without Reavers or Speed. That's not very common, but it's working out very well on this map because it's very cheap to just get those two shuttles out. Uh, a total of 400 minerals is all that Snow has to spend to get those two shuttles out. And the Zealots and Dragoons are rather cheap, so very cost-efficient uh, drop play from Snow. I like it. And uh, keep in mind, he got his third base out early, so he has a strong economy behind this. Oh, I got a third shuttle out too. Wow. This is just... This is some orthodox play. I guess it, it calls for the map, but... I, I mean, I love this build. It's so fun to watch. And he's going to drop. That tank is so dead. Oh, dragging! Oh, just get one SEWE, but... Uh, nice try. Loses a shuttle there too. That's not good. Looks like Piano's going to defend this drop, so I guess he wins at least one battle this game, right? Shuttle's trying to find any weaknesses here. Going to go back into the main base of Piano, see if the turrets maybe are missing. And going to get a fifth base here, and he sees there's no turrets here, so he can drop off his Dragoons and Zealots and try to pick off some units or buildings back here, but Piano is quick to react and he's going to lose that tank. <sighs> nice pick off. Ooh. Snow is getting some serious damage done. Being up 30 supply while going carriers. Ooh, Piano's going to have a rough time uh, winning this game. Oh, excuse me. I'm not even sure he knows about the carriers. I haven't seen a single Goliath out. Piano wants to scout those carriers ASAP because there are going to be four or five out in a minute here. Shell's going to the third here, so he might try to bust the Terran. Maybe he's just scouting with these shuttles, trying to find any efficient opening where he can drop sellets on those tanks, for example. Oh, Protoss is just... It's so easy for Protoss to expand on this map. How are you supposed to kill those bases? They are 50 kilometers away from the Terran. Hmm, I feel this is just going to be super hard for Piano and hard for Terran in general. He scans the carriers now. He's probably shitting himself seeing that. He probably expected the carriers, but... Ah, it's going to be hard, I believe. He doesn't have a single Goliath out, and there are going to be five carriers out momentarily. And Piano lost a ton of tanks too, so he can't really... He doesn't really have an advantage in the ground units either. Four carriers are out. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here he's going in here. No, he's not. Oof. <laughs> so close. <clears throat> I think that was wise. You don't really want to push. Uh, you don't really want to try to bust a Terran when you're spending half your minerals in carriers. Because if you lose that ground army, uh, Piano can actually push and take advantage of that. Kind of ignoring the carriers. Just picking off expansions. The weakness of carriers are that they have to kind of stick together and they're very slow. But this is going to be super hard. Look at all the locations Snow can attack here. He can go to the third base of Terran and the natural at the same time here. Already getting two tanks. And Terran has to invest so many minerals in turrets just to defend his natural. He's going to go for the turrets here, and they are eventually going to go down. Decides to pull back there, doesn't want to lose his interceptors. But five carriers are out, probably a few more on the way back at home. Looks like Piano wants to push out now, he has a handful of Goliaths. Snow scouts this with the uh, Observer, so he knows Oh, he picks off another tank, and another tank, and another tank, yep, gets three tanks there. Nice pick off. Plus one armor, alright. Interesting. <laughs> I guess, I guess it's alright. 
I assume he has uh, attack upgrades on these as well. He probably has two cybernetics core. The upgrades are okay against Goliaths. Seven carriers are out now too. That's going to be hard to counter with Goliaths. Piano is still on three bases against five. And it's very hard for Piano to take a fourth base as well. There's not really a safe location. Both locations are hard to hold, the one to the left and to the right. Oh, Piano's at 410 APM. That's very high. 420. Nice. Piano is pushing this, but it is slow. It's a slow push here. Snow is doing a great job uh, slowing down this push with those carriers. Picking off ta uh, tanks. Here he goes again. Picking off Goliaths. And he can use this high ground to his advantage here, forcing out scans from the Terran player. Piano is getting close now, but he's slowly losing units all the time. And I haven't seen a single carrier gone down, so... It's going to be super tough for Piano. We're probably going to see High Templars with Storm out any second too. Two more carriers coming in. Nine carriers. You have got to be kidding me. I don't even think you can count in nine carriers. It's just too many. I don't know how many interceptors the one, does one of a carrier have. Eight, so 72 interceptors are going to be... A potential for snow here. That's a sick amount of interceptors. And a random dragoon there. Alright, maybe a bad rally or something. Those Goliaths might be flanked here by the dragoons. Looks like they're getting low in number here. What happened with the probes over there? Three observers out too. Those might be in a bit of a... Ooh, tanks. Mm -mm, only two tanks left. 11 carriers, I believe. Wow. 9 or 11 carriers, I think that is. Only two tanks. Protoss is up now. 50 supply as well. Piano doesn't really have an income. At least 10 carriers. Oh, that's actually... Yeah, that is 10 carriers. Very nice. Another expansion for Snow here, so... I guess Snow is a better player, but I also think that the map is responsible for this being quite one-sided. Carriers are just so strong. The last tank is going down. Look at those interceptors. 80 interceptors. I wonder how much attack those uh, interceptors have. Probably plus 2. <coughs> Pianos and 2 one too, but just the amount of carriers is just too much. And look at the amount of turrets he's had to uh, build in the in the natural there just to defend against those carriers just the potential threat those carriers bring mm -mm -mm, tasty another carrier doesn't even need it and those turrets are so dead <laughs> there is so many interceptors oh turrets are just not going to do anything Goliaths are going to come in here, but good luck getting Goliaths through that uh, very small funnel. He's counterattacking here with the units, which is a, a smart tactical choice here, but I think it's a, a bit too little too late. Nothing can stop these carriers. That, I think that's 12 carriers, 11. Mm. He gets one base from the Protoss player, and he's going to try to expand there himself, probably, but... Snow is up 95 supply right now. And uh, we're going to have slightly a base trade. Or Snow decides to go back here. He's going to clean up that small Terran army and then continue attacking Piano. And if Piano loses that army to the left, he's definitely going to GG. He's all in with those units. And ooh, getting DT is very smart here. Piano scans though. 
but uh, P uh, Snow has more carriers than Piano has Goliaths over here, so this is not going to be a close match at all. Five Goliaths left, I think that's 12 carriers now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is just so insane! Carriers, man, they are so good. Once you get, once you get more than six carriers, it's just. Oh. <laughs> yeah, up up one ten supply now. Snow is so. There's not much more to say about this game. Piano is barely mining. Look at the bank from Snow here. Piano is going to tap out any second. GG. Very nice and entertaining seeing this new map being played. I can't wait for ASL Season 5 to start off. I want to see more games on that map. I want to see what Flash does on these maps. I don't know. I, I, if anyone's going to pull... I'm, I don't know if these maps are going to make it to uh, uh, Round of 8 where Flash will be participating. Or is it Round of 16 maybe? But I want to see what a good Terran player can do on these maps to counteract the carriers on both Sparkle and that map, whatever it's called. Because carriers just look extremely strong. Uh, Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching uh, Game 6, I think. We're going to have more games coming up here, but Terran is going to be eliminated. We have two Zergs remaining. Let's see who's going to go up for the next game. Thank you guys for watching.